everybody, I'm Sarah and I'm a recorder player. I've seen this going around YouTube quite a bit, two set violin, the flute channel, playing grades one to eight on their instrument. And yeah, why not? Here's recorder as well. There are actually quite a few syllabuses, syllab, syllabi to choose from. I have gone for Trinity. Up to grade five, you can choose between soprano or alto and from grade six upwards, you have to be able to play both. I'm just gonna make a nice selection for you today. Grade one, I'm gonna be playing tune number three for the canary bird from the bird fancier's delight. I'm going to be playing Gavotte by Mossy. This is getting a bit trickier because we have some jumps in the second section. You'll hear. Imagine for grade two that's really tricky because of all of those high notes. I remember during grades growing up there were loads of markings to follow, articulation, dynamics, phrasing. There's none of that here. So in that sense you're challenged because you have to create it yourself but there's also like less markings to get right. I'm not sure, good or bad, I don't know. Grade three, Adagio by Anonymous. It's slower, we're gonna be bringing in some feeling and there are some trills. trills on an E, it's going to be the choice of or or what will it be? Grade 4, Jig by De Moivre. It's in C minor which is a tricky key on the recorder, that's probably why it's grade 4, but most of the movement is stepwise, it's next to one another. Show tune, the last piece, number 40, 
in Kramer's 40 Studies for Soprano Recorder. It sounds really difficult and impressive because it's so fast, but it's basically all scales. If you practice your scales, you can play this. What does grade six have in store? Six, very handy. I did a tutorial on this piece a couple of weeks ago, so it's already practiced. Um, it's the Allegro from Telemann's Fantasia number three. Again, it's a jig, but what makes this so much more difficult than the grade four version is that this one has a lot of jumps. And by jumps, I mean jumps. movement optometrist from the suite I'd rather be in Philadelphia by Pete Rose. This is a really nice piece. playing jazz. Grade eight. I have chosen the first movement of the San Martini Concerto and so as not to anger the copyright gods I will be playing along with the beautiful MIDI soundtrack. Sorry about that. While it's not the most challenging of concertos it is still <laughs> challenging. <laughs>
to be musical with zero timing against the MIDI file. So those were some examples of the recorder repertoire, grades one to eight. What do I think about the grade system? Today I chose for the Trinity syllabus because in my opinion, it's a bit more open-minded, gives you more free choice than for example, the ABRSM syllabus. In the technical exercises, you can choose for improvisation as well as oral tests and scales. You can also choose to perform one of your own compositions. And I think that's really, really nice. One big problem I see in all of the exam syllabuses is a lack of diversity in the choice of repertoire. Looking at the recorder syllabus, it's basically 99% white men. Now, here's the thing, representation matters. Part of the purpose of having grades is to encourage young players to develop. Imagine how inspiring it would be if all of the children and adults playing this grade of repertoire could recognise themselves in the composers and the music. On a personal note, when I was growing up, I genuinely did not even consider the possibility of being a composer. I really thought, girls can't compose. So on one hand, there's feeling represented and included by the repertoire. On the other hand, there are so many great living composers today. We should represent them and pay them for their work. We need to update this repertoire. More female composers, more composers of colour, more living composers. Trinity has made an attempt to include folk music from different countries and cultures. That's really nice. It can always be more. And if any of you are questioning why do we need more diversity in our classical music repertoire? There has been a ton of material written on this subject. Google is free. I kindly ask you to go and educate yourself on this a little bit more before going in the comments. That was my small walkthrough of grade one to eight on recorder. Are you doing a grade soon? What are you practicing? Tell me about it. As always, you can subscribe to my channel by clicking on my face down here. Over here's the Team Recorder Patreon where you can choose to support the channel. If you're doing your grade six and you're practicing that same talent, I made a tutorial. Thanks for watching and have a great day.